Ebon Scale Reach, like every other part of New World, is ancient. It's been around for a long, long time. You go from this dark landscape to something lush that's verdant. Ebon Scale is an end game zone, and with that, we wanted to really ratchet up the challenge. People have been landing on Eternum since the beginning of time. Some of them are out in search of Eternum, whereas others just got here by mistake. Throughout history, people have had words for Eternum. It could be, you know, El Dorado, it could be Eden. There were plenty of adventurers that came before us, but that's part of the excitement, is getting to learn who they were and what brought them there. For centuries and even millennia, different cultures, civilizations have sought out this place, this place of legend. To some people, it could be Atlantis. Uh, to others, it could be where the fountain of youth exists. But there's always been some draw of finding this mysterious place. That's one of the most interesting things about this game as an artist, because we wanted Eternum to feel like this mythical place where different cultures that didn't exist near each other in real history could clash here. There's something special about that. It is heavily based on realistic elements, but we also wanted to add some sort of new world flavor to it. We wanted to add supernatural and fantastic magical elements to it. We pulled a lot of reference from different cultures and different beauty. Scale is different from the rest of Eternum because it was our first step into creating a totally new theme and we wanted to create something really unique. We really wanted the world to feel new and inviting and feel like there's always adventure over the next hill. And so Ebon Scale is an example. We really wanted that to have a, a unique feeling to it, that it is very lush and tropical. There's this wistful, calm kind of beauty, but then also corruption and twisting to that nature. And so this like dichotomy of the different feelings that are going on there. The mechanics of how Eternum attracts humans to its shores are, are somewhat of a mystery in the game. Empress Zhao Taiying uh, from China went into voluntary exile after her brother betrayed her and took over the throne. And she led her people to Eternum seeking a new life. Some humans come here because they're inspired just simply to explore. Others are specifically seeking this place. The Empress and her people were just looking for a new home at first. In the player's leveling journey, they're at a fairly high level, almost to the level cap when they uh, reach Ebon Scale. We bring a whole new family of corrupted enemies. We have the corrupted musketeer, uh, a bunch of corrupted melee, and it really brings with it a new challenge, a new set of enemies, and the POIs are super challenging. and most powerful figure in Ebon Scale Reach is the Empress. And she originally had her throne usurped by her uh, half-brother, and she was exiled and looking for a place to settle with uh, all her loyal supporters. And she stumbled upon Eternum and soon discovered the power that it could bestow. Part of that was making compromises with her ideals to, to secure that power. Having found that, now her plan is, is to go back and uh, take back what she believes is, is her birthright. I myself designed Empress. I wanted to design her really regal and graceful, but at the same time when she started attacking you, it's really terrifying. I looked at a lot of Kung Fu moves and Chinese dancing to reference her animation and attacks. The player will encounter the Empress at the end of the Dynasty Shipyard, which is this amazingly difficult expedition where players have to go in and they see the fleet that the Empress is building, this fleet of ships that she plans to go back and take what is rightfully hers. So the player has to go throughout the expedition, has to sort of destroy all the ships uh, while a bunch of enemies are trying to stop them. And at the end of this, they finally encounter the Empress. It's a super challenging fight. <laughs> Thank you. 
So from the team's perspective, when we're introducing new cultures, it's so important to us to properly do it. We want to make sure that this comes across as a celebration of that culture. Creating Ebenscale Reach, the team went through uh, months and months of research and then also working with some of our other geopolitical teams because what we want to do is be honorary to the source material, but we want to also view it through the lens of Eternum and the struggles that exist there. This is the most diverse team that I've ever worked on and we definitely try to leverage the diversity within the team as much as possible to make sure that the cultures are properly represented. I mean, it's critical for us to get these things inspired by those cultures in the most interesting way, but, uh, but again, to, to make sure we're being respectful and accurate. We've just touched the surface. We have some pretty cool ideas on where we want to take the story and the journey we want to take everyone on. We just can't wait to share that with you.